So I realized <clears throat> I need uh, zoom extent. And so the way I did that, let me put this over here for a second, is I came here and I typed in the word zoom under shortcuts and it gives me all these options. So the Z button or Z for Canadians, um, it uh, does zoom and then shift Z or shift Z does um, extent. And that's what I want is extent. Because I get trapped sometimes in the, uh, I don't know, the super thick gooey 3D and I can't scroll wheel out. <laughs> it takes a while. It takes like, it's just insane. I don't even know how to describe it. So the way this works in Stream Deck, which this is all sudden small compared to what I'm used to seeing, I'm going to put it right here and it's going to be... Uh, We'll just call it a hotkey because it's got two keys built into it. And I'm going to call it um, zoom. Well, I'd like it all caps. And man, this mouse is sensitive over here. I reconfigured things, so I'm not really sure what's going on. And then, of course, instead of the color being attached to anything, it's way off screen way over here. So here's, here's my suggestion. If you're going to have the color button like right here, make it open up its menu attached to the actual window somewhere here or to the right. I don't care. Just not free floating to where it was at the last time. Now, the user should be able to break this off and move it wherever, but it's way more convenient to use it right there. So there's Zoom E. Um, eventually, I'll just make a black button like this. And then when it says click to assign, it's observing. I'm going to go Shift Z. It's done. It, you don't have to save or anything. It's in there. It's done. And it's the only one in my stream deck that isn't nice and black with yellow text. It's got this symbol. Hmm. This could be cool. Let's see what happens here. What I need is a magnifying glass with arrows pointing in four directions. Vikings. The heck? Why is this not gonna? Come on, baby. I guess that's it. Oh, there we go. It just took a while. I don't know what this is. Um, I'm looking. I'm looking. That's not that any. It says fifty. All right. <laughs> I was looking at 365. I was like, huh. Yeah, yeah. Framer. Framer what? It's not the kind of framing I'm thinking of. Although there's a framing square. Oh, you know what I could do? How about we get smart and we go zoom and have it just show me all. Look at this. This is the one I would use, except it doesn't have a black background. Hmm. Oh, this one's animated. So that'll actually do that on the stream deck. It'll actually, that's distracting though. Let's just go with this one here. Boom. Yeah, it's, those um, arrows are too close to the corners, making it difficult. That's better. All right, and that's as easy as it is. So now the stream deck looks like this. And I thought I would share that because, um, I don't know, I, you know, people can use the, the uh, Space Mouse and Stream Deck and all kinds of stuff and just get a muscle memory workflow going that works. I need to really think about these push, pull, and select 
and orbit. And I called it square, but really that's rectangle tool. So drawing tools along here. Um, my hand is down in this area on the real device. It's on the desk. So I put group. I, I don't know if group is more important than component, but together. And the instead of copy paste, the whole move, move plus. This takes two actions to do that. So this is like hitting the M button and then pressing the um, option key on a Mac probably the alt on Windows. All right. <coughs> Choking on up. <coughs> Excuse me. Tillamook Country Smoker Zero Sugar Smoked Sausages in a bag. <coughs>